Earlier today, senior anchor Jeremy Maggs spoke to former President Thabo Mbeki about Nelson Mandela's legacy. President Mbeki, it's good to talk to you and thank you very much. In your statement, you talk about one of the greatest sons of our people. I wonder as a starting point on this very difficult and this very harrowing day today, if you can put your own emotions into some sort of words for us. I've known him uh, personally since I was probably 19 years old. Uh, and so I have worked with him since then. Mm -hmm. You feel that very close, very close attachment uh, to him and, uh, and a sense of dependence mm -hmm. in terms of the things that we had to do then uh, to engage in struggle. You'd look up to him, want to listen carefully to what he would say. So it's inevitable that mm -hmm. uh, when he leaves, you feel this sense of loss. Mm -hmm. A heavy heart. A heavy heart. Uh, he's no longer there to mm. go and see him and uh, talk to him about mm. whatever. Listen to his views, uh, ask him questions, uh, give him mm. reports. Indeed, it's, it's a heavy heart. But uh, but also, you see, I think that we one of the things we must not forget uh, is that he uh, he belonged to and represented a particular generation, mm. a very important generation for us really titans of our struggle mm. and we knew him in that context so as he passes away it's impossible not to remember other people mm. that we've had the the mis misfortune to bury himself uh, walter Sisulu, my father yes uh, brown fisher uh, lillian goy other people like this. In, in fact, you say that his passing signals the end of a historic era. Is this, President Mbeki, a generation that we will ever see again? I don't think it's possible to replicate mm. that generation. Um, I think the uh, in a liberated South Africa we face different challenges. Mm. But I think surely it must be part of our things that we aim for, mm. to play a similar role, a role similar to the role played by that generation uh, in the new conditions, with new objectives, it surely must be possible to find other South Africans who will truly mm. say, yes, that old generation which sustained this particular set of values it must surely be possible that you'd have another generation mm. that would sustain the same values. Uh, you said that you have to bear the mantle of sainthood when all you sought was pride in the knowledge that you were a good foot soldier for justice and for freedom. I would ask you, President Mbeki, was he a reluctant hero or did he embrace this astonishing, this massive destiny of his? I don't think he sought to be a hero. Mm. I remember, for instance, uh, Early soon after 1994, uh, he wrote an article uh, for one of our mm -hmm. newspapers where he challenged this to say, why are you trying to separate me mm -hmm. from the rest of my comrades? Why are you trying to elevate me to some status above the movement to which I belong? But wasn't it an inevitable consequence of, of, his, of his brilliance, of who he was, that he was seen as a hero, even a superhero? In the manner in which uh, the struggle was conducted, it's indeed it was inevitable mm. that uh, a person like himself would come to be viewed in that light. But uh, he didn't like it. No more. ENCA.com